good morning. My name is Blake Montgomery. I'm from the Arkansas School for Mathematics, Sciences, and the Arts. My mentor was Dr. Srini Ramaswamy. My project was hardware simulation of a Sony PlayStation 3 distributed computing system. The purpose of this experiment was to investigate the effectiveness of a distributed computing system composed of Sony PlayStation 3s. I'm about to PlayStation 3. It has an IBM cell processor, um, eight cores inside the processor. Only seven of those are used. Uh, that's in case one of the cores that goes bad, there's a replacement. Now each of those green bars is a core which can do, so this, this one processor can do eight mathematical calculations at one time. Uh, distributed computing, it involves one server who delegates tasks to different node computers. And uh, so, so each computer is doing a different calculation uh, controlled by the server. How you measure performance in computing? Uh, one way is to measure flops, or the floating point operations per second, which is uh, the decimal calculations of one core or CPU per second. Or speed up, which measures the performance of distributed systems. Now, speed up can be calculated using uh, the number of cores per central processing unit, the number of CPUs per machine, the number of machines per cluster, and the overhead values for each separate component. Um, overhead is the depreciation of productivity of components when they rely upon each other. Um, overheads can be characterized using three vari variables, alpha, beta, and gamma. Uh, all of them are zero nearing one. They can't, they, they never reach one because as long as there's more than one component relying on another, the latency it requires to send information from one component to another prevents it from being operating at 100% productivity. And then alpha is associated with the number of cores, and beta is the number of CPUs, and gamma is the number of machines. Those are N, M, and P, as you see. And this is the formula. You just multiply everything together, and then you have X, which is the speed of one core in gigahertz. And from, from that, you get speed up. Now, these overhead values, alpha, beta, and gamma, are not constants. They're functions. And uh, I assume the function of the normal distribution of cores utilized in one cell processor with the mean cores being four and the standard deviation of one core. And a run in my, in my experiment was a, is one instruction performed by the entire cluster. Uh, the alpha value increases as the number of runs increase. And the beta value for this simulation is one because there's only one uh, processor in, one play, in a PlayStation 3. And the gamma value is based on previous alpha values. So I, uh, I simulated um, alpha and gamma. Alpha is your, the orange line and gamma is the blue line. And the alpha values are, the alpha values are greater than the gamma values because the, the time it takes to go from one core to another core is far less than the time it takes to go from one machine to another machine. And then these, these drops here are um, system reboots or crashes I simulated in to show how, how much faster the system reboots after it's been run. And then using those functions I calculated the speed up of the distributed, of the distributed system and it, it shows that, if I can just go back, it shows that the gamma, the blue line, has a significant, uh, has a significant importance upon the speed up of the entire system. And as you add more nodes to the system, your gamma values uh, decrease, which means you'll lose productivity. Explain your x and y axis. Okay. Um, my x axis, uh, those are my runs down there in the bottom corner. And then my y axis is, is the speed up. It's an, it's an arbitrary number. And on, on, the, on the back here, they were runs again. And then uh, from 1 to 0, nearing 1, starting at 0. And again, another, that, that's your overhead value or your depreciation of efficiency. And my next steps in this, pro, in this project are to find the, um, the actual speed up of one PlayStation 3 through experimentation. And by using that, I'll simulate the speed up for a distributed system that is comparable to a supercomputer today. Um, the, the UALR supercomputer costs near $1 million, and it, as it, it's estimated that a PlayStation 3 distributed system uh, of the same capacity can be made for a quarter of that price.
Thank you.